Because of frost or buried pipes and cables, many customers prefer their patio stones to be laid without the use of cement. The mason lays a base of gravel and then a small layer of stone dust. Leveling out the stone dust to a determined height, he pre-lays his stone, and using a piece of wooden hammer, seats his stone to the proper height. He then marks his angles and cuts out his pattern. Using stone dust in a broom, he begins to sweep in the stone dust to fill in his joints. A good way for hiding sire chisel marks is torching a stone. By wetting a stone and then torching, the face of the stone will blister off, revealing a rough look. This can also become another alternative to sandblasting in some cases of refinish work. As we can see, the mason is preparing to mix up some cement for repairing cracks. He is using two parts sand to one part straight Portland cement which some masons use in all their work. Many cements are water-based. Cement is made mostly by grinding certain types of stone to a fine powder. Heating the powder to extreme temperatures burns off certain molecules contained in the water. By re-adding water, the molecules begin to reform and the cement begins to return to its solid state. There are many types of cement used today. Some dry almost instantly and some take many hours to harden and many weeks to completely cure. It is also important to remember that during the curing process many cements have a tendency to shrink and bend. Due to extreme temperatures, weather conditions, and stresses in weight, it is always a good idea to consult professional knowledge to help avoid some of these most certain events. We're building a wall here, and you can see how it goes. We're laying the cement in and, and raking it out. Laying a wall on gravel. It looks like this. This is what the back of the wall looks like. As you can see how we're doing it. You see we laid it on gravel, we're just filling it solid with cement up to this line, which you can see moving. Dave's shoveling the mud in between the stones that we laid this morning getting rid of the mud at the end of the day because this wall has to be solid. The wall looks like when it's done. As you can see there's steps leading up into the yard. There's the steps. And there's the top of the wall. Just laid it like a patio. Both sides. And that's how you put these stone walls in. Very simple. <laughs>